I was looking at some seesaw things online and YouTube and Pinterest, and I saw something that I wanted to try in my lessons. So I'm going to show it to you now. And if it's something you already knew, awesome. I just kind of put two and two together when I saw it on other activities, and it made a lot of sense to me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a video of this page and make it my oral directions. I know that you can tap the caption and you can record your voice, but even when you say tap the caption in the directions, this circle does get darker, like it has a black ring around it, but you can't really count on them actually tapping the directions to listen all of the time. And I know that one of the complaints from parents was how much time they had to spend sitting right there by their kids. So hopefully, since our lessons are grade level appropriate, if we can record some of the directions on each page, it will make it a little bit easier for the younger kids to do these. Now, the thing is you can only do one of these per page. So if you have multi-steps, it can still only be one recording. But I'm going to go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. And then if it's something you like, then you can use it going forward. And I hope that at least you learned something. So I'm going to click the camera and I'm going, oh, nope. I'm going to click the microphone and I'm going to record my voice talking on this page. Hi guys, today we're going to practice our phone numbers. I know my phone number. What I would like you to do is to talk to mom and dad and ask your phone number. You're going to write your phone number in these boxes and then you're going to trace the words and write your phone number down here. When you're finished, you can color the phone if you want. So now I took a video. I know it was a microphone, but it records the whole screen and I can move it around. So what I'm going to do with this new recording is I'm going to shrink it. And I wish there were a way to crop it, but you can't. But I'm going to shrink it and I'm going to place it over here, and you can make it bigger or smaller. You can use your Bitmoji to point to it. I'm going to lock it so the kids cannot move it. And then I'm going to add a shape. I just want one of my arrows, and again, you can make this as pretty or creative as you would like. And then I'm going to lock that as well. And then I'm going to write, click me. And again, you can change the formatting on those, but this is just for practice. I just chose some random lesson in my library. But um, that way the kids will have oral directions right there on the activity. Even though the directions will stay at the top, I can't always count on the kids or the parents tapping that to read or listen to the directions. So when the kids click it, it's page. Hi, guys. Hi guys. Today, Today we're, we're going to practice, practice our phone, our phone numbers. numbers. I know. I know. And then that way they get the directions and they can listen to it again and again. Thanks.